What's up, YouTube? My name is Clickwood, and I am back again today bringing you guys another Madden 15 ratings reveal. And today, guys, we are taking a look at the top five free safeties for Madden 15. And guys, this is a kind of position that can definitely change things for you. So this is a position that I always look at. Free safety to me is one of those ones that I think most people at this point, if you're good at Madden, free safety is one of the cards that, or one of the players. I always get confused. I always say cards now because damn it, I play too much mutt. But free safety is one of those positions where you really, really do utilize them a lot. So it's an important position for you. And I think that uh, to me, it's one of the positions that I think goes a little bit underrated, actually, uh, when people are looking at teams. They tend to not really look at who the free safety is, and they're just like, well, who cares? I, I'm going to be user controlling them anyway. But unless you're playing Mutt, where you can actually pick your free safety, when you're playing Madden, you kind of want to know who the good free safeties are, at least attribute-wise, who they are. So I think that this is one that I would uh, definitely say we should take a closer look at. And it's actually, in my opinion, the most controversial one that they have actually released yet in terms of the pure ratings. So why don't we go ahead and take a look at the top five free safeties according to Madden 15. And we're starting off at number five. This one is a little bit of a surprise to me. Uh, 86 overall, and we have Charles Woodson, definitely a player who has serious consideration to be a Hall of Famer down the road when he does end up retiring, but uh, for right now, I I don't know. Having him as the fifth best free safety in the league, hmm, uh, I don't know. Uh, you know, there's not a whole lot of depth at free safety, to be completely honest with you, in the NFL, and I think that the ratings are actually kind of showing that. Uh, Woodson, according to the uh, the stats last year, only had one interception, three passes defended, but he did have 75 tackles, so uh, at least he's still making plays. But, I mean, this, man, 86 overall. That just shows, seriously, the lack of depth at this position because most of the other positions that we've been looking at have been low to mid-90s as the fifth best player. And this one... I mean, 86 overall is super, super low. That was that was definitely surprising to me. Now, we have seen players that are lower overall but have some of the, the attributes that we look for, like speed and acceleration and that kind of stuff. But Charles Woodson, to me, doesn't really do that. 86 speed is his number, according to the numbers that we've been provided. Only has 84 agility and 86 jumps, so not spectacular there. But he does, of course, have the 93 awareness, and he's got 75 man coverage, which to me was kind of low. I mean, the guy's a former cornerback. I think we could give him a little bit better man coverage than that. There's going to be linebackers in this game that have better man coverage than that, and I think that that's kind of a little bit disrespectful to Charles Woodson as a guy who's been uh, an elite cornerback for, for a good chunk of his career and is now just kind of, you know, playing that free safety role as kind of like a center fielder type of player. He does, does only also have an 83 play recognition, which uh, I know they're kind of saying that that's high, but to me that does seem a little bit low still. Obviously the 93 awareness is going to come into play there as well, so those two things are going to work off of one another. But to me, this doesn't really seem like that great of a player. 86 overall with the 86 speed, meh. <laughs> I don't really have much interest in Charles Woodson. I don't imagine that a whole lot of people are going to be playing with the Oakland Raiders unless, of course, there's another thing like the injury glitch like there was this year. I know a lot of people that play competitively now are uh, kind of using the Raiders because you've got that injury glitch where you can use Terrell Pryor, and even if he gets hurt, he's back out there on the next play. So they've been kind of exploiting that and using Terrell Pryor and kind of uh, running with him and just not even really caring if he gets injured. But let's move on to the number four free safety, and that one is definitely a player that deserves it. He deserves to be up here. Eric Weddle has been one of the more underrated free safeties in the NFL for years now. He's a player who, in my opinion, kind of sucks for Madden Ultimate Team, but in terms of his attributes for the regular Madden, not too bad. He has 94 play recognition, which if you compare that again to the uh, Charles Woodson player card, uh, he's only 83 at play rec, so 
Eric Weddle definitely higher there. He also has 93 awareness, so still very, very high in that attribute. 87 tackling and 94 pursuit means that he's going to be a beast against the run. He is not going to have a problem stepping into the box and uh, potentially blitzing from that free safety position. The one thing that we don't see about him is his speed. And I know that a lot of people had a problem with him not having fast enough speed and acceleration uh, when we were talking about Mutt. So I imagine that he's not very high in those attributes for his regular uh, player as well. But you never really know with Madden. Sometimes they surprise you when the, when the actual attributes do come out. But for right now, I'm just going to go with the assumption that Eric Weddle is another player that I'm not extremely excited about. So uh, let's move on to number three. Number three, Devin McCourty. Definitely one of the most exciting free safeties to use in Madden. He actually had one interception, eight passes defended, and 58 tackles last year. And what it says about him is that the best part of former cornerback Devin McCourty's game is his 90-man coverage. Top ranked among free safeties by eight points. He also has 97 zone coverage, which ranks him second and his physical measurables at 93 speed, 93 agility, and 95 acceleration. Those numbers are going to make him an absolute monster. I don't know what he is low in. It must be something like awareness or play recognition or something like that because all of these attributes sound amazing. I mean, these are the type of attributes that you really look for in a Madden Ultimate Team card as well. And I know Devin McCourty for quite a while before like the Ultimate Legends and the Golden Tickets and those kind of cards came out. He was definitely one of the best free safeties in Ultimate Team. So I certainly expect that he's going to continue to be one of the best free safeties for regular Madden as well. And of course, that like they said, the uh, the 97 zone coverage and the 90 man coverage, are, it, it, those two combined, he's definitely the best coverage free safety in the game. There's no question about that at all. I mean, 90 man coverage, you can straight up line him up on a tight end or even potentially a wide receiver and not really see much of a drop off. So that's definitely a nice attribute to have. The one concern, of course, that we do have about Devin McCourty is that although he is very, very good in coverage, sometimes the tackling attributes might not be there. And of course, if we're not user controlling him, he might not be there in the awareness and the play recognition attributes. So. We've got to keep that in mind, of course, but I imagine that a lot of people are going to be relying on him in coverage, and I'm sure he's going to come through for you. Devin McCourty at 94 overall. I think that's, I don't know if the Madden attributes, like I said, are not taking into account things in the way that I would, but those numbers all sound awesome to me. Now, moving on to number two, and this is where things get sticky, because to me, this is completely absurd. Earl Thomas is the number two free safety. Okay, here's the deal. I get it. They don't want to just make it where Seattle's players are all the best at defense. But this is the kind of player that absolutely has to be the number one player. I mean, he is arguably the best defensive player in the league, period. I mean, there's obviously guys like Sherman on his team and then guys like J.J. Watt and, and maybe a couple others. But Earl Thomas is absolutely in that conversation as being the best defensive player in the NFL. He makes up for it when it, when his quarterbacks don't make the right plays. Um, you know, he's, he's there in run support. Here's his stats from 2013. Five interceptions, 11 passes defended, 78 tackles. I, I don't understand. I don't understand how he's the number two free safety, and he's only 95 overall as well. It's baffling to me. Here's what they say. Earl Thomas has almost zero weaknesses in his game. 93 speed, 93 agility, 94 zone coverage make him very, very good. His 82 man coverage is tied for second at free safety. Again, of course, only behind Devin McCourty. And his 87 pursuit is tied or is uh, ranked third. And then he's also got 79 tackling tied for seventh. So that makes him an overall great free safety. And of course, he should be because he's great at everything. I remember when Earl Thomas was first coming into the league and all the all the hype was about Eric Berry. And although Eric Berry has turned out to be a very good NFL player, I don't think that there's any comparison between the two. To me, Earl Thomas is by far and away a better player than Eric Berry. And, you know, it, it's just kind of shocking to me that he would not be ranked anywhere near 
as high as he should be. I, I wouldn't have a problem if they actually decided to put Earl Thomas as a 99 overall player. I really wouldn't. I really would have absolutely no problem with that at all. So for him to only be 95 and the second ranked free safety, to me this is just absurd. I think EA got it wrong here. And we're going to take a look now at the player who they did decide to give number one overall ranking to. And that is Jairus Bird, the brand new addition to the New Orleans uh, to the New Orleans Saints defense and I get it because he has been an absolute beast over the past couple of years here getting interceptions and things like that but let's just compare his peer numbers okay 2013 statistics he had four interceptions six passes defended and 37 tackles that means he had one less interception five less passes defended and 41 fewer tackles than Earl Thomas, but yet somehow he's still ranked higher. And I get it. Sometimes, you know, things like that, they don't exactly show everything. Just those pure stats alone don't show things like, you know, players, you know, the opposing quarterback not passing toward him and things like that. I get it. But at the same time, that is a significant difference. It really is, and, and when you're comparing him to another player who's considered elite at his position, it's not like Earl Thomas just had like a, a one-off good season or something like that. He's not the Jason Hatcher of free safeties. Earl Thomas has been amazing since he came into the league. I don't know. I don't get it. I know that a lot of people think that Jairus Bird is the best free safety in the league, but to me, it, it just, there's no way. There's no way. And here's what it says about Jarius Bird. It says, Bird is the top-rated player in Madden in terms of zone coverage. He's 99 at zone coverage. And he has 81 catching, which is also best among all free safeties, and 90 play recognition. That makes him the ultimate ball hawk in Madden NFL 15, it says. Ah, <sighs> Madden, Madden, Madden. You did it again, right? You did it again. You had to make me... You had to make me frustrated. I think Earl Thomas is by far and away the best free safety in the league. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section below. Do you agree with me or am I far off base here? Am I crazy for thinking that Earl Thomas got the shaft? Let me know in the comments section below. Make sure to also press that like button if you like today's video, guys. And also, if you're new to the channel, make sure you press that subscribe button. We're going to be doing plenty of Madden 15 content when it comes out. We're still going to be going over some of these ratings and that kind of thing. And then, of course, we've got the Pink Slip series coming up tomorrow on my channel. So be sure to look out for that. Thank you guys for tuning in. I do appreciate it. And I will talk to you beautiful bitches again soon.